Hi, welcome to Solid Edge ST9 video tutorial. I want to do the multi body housing now in Solid Edge ST. So, that's the finished model. And I used bodies and I used groups to better structure my model. So, let's have some fun with Solid Edge ST9. First, I need some reference planes. So, Maybe let's show these and create some more. I need a parallel one to the right plane. First one should be 36 distance. Another one parallel 88. Another one 36 in that direction and another one 88 in that direction one down below distance should be 5 another one distance should be 44 and the last one, distance should be 90. And I got my framework. I could group these. So make a group and call this one framework or skelet. Now I can go for my first sketch. That would be on the front plane. And that would be a rectangle. This one, maybe like this. Now make some constraints so this should be collinear with this one that with this one and this with that one and there should be a distance and that distance might be 47 close the sketch make a revolve that's the sketch and the axis would be this one 360 degrees okay so I could, could make a group with this one as well so that would be this could be another group that would be group right plus okay next sketch again front plane again a rectangle which should be around here make similar constraints as before and a dimension 47 again close the sketch now finish the sketch cancel this out and now go for a new body add body and call this one left plus and go for another revolve that's the sketch that's the axis 360 degrees 
confirm finish cancel this out see and I will rename this one this should be write plus okay next another sketch on the front plane and this might look something like Okay, give it some constraints. This should be right there, that over here, this one right here, that one here, and that dimension would be 40, and this dimension would be 28. Close the sketch. Add a body. This would be center plus. And make a revolve with that sketch. That's the axis. 360 degrees finish cancel this out now I could make two more groups that would be a group this would be group the left plus and that might be group You don't have to do the groups, but why not? And this would be called group center plus. Nice. Now I could hide these for the moment and do a new body. Another sketch on the front plane. And this might look something like this. Okay. Give it some constraints. That would be right there. This one on that one. This one on that one that one on this one and like this now I need a dimension maybe I should go for an angle right away and this would be 45 so now I need a distance right here and that's not really possible at least I maybe I don't get it so we'll go for first for fillet. Where's my fillet? There it is. And no trim. Twelve. Like this. Okay. Then this element should be for construction only. Then need a point and a line. That line should start right here. And maybe I can, that's it. This should be for construction as well. And now I can make a dimension point to point. And this would be 42. Close the sketch. Finish, cancel it out. 
and now go for a new body add body and I call this stiffener plus now let's make an extrude with that sketch and make it symmetric that's okay and the distance should be 50 finish cancel it out very nice now I want to mirror that feature mirror that protrusion and the plane would be the right plane finish okay so this would be another group that would be group stiffener as there is no stiffener minus I will call it just stiffener Okay, let's check the bodies, that's okay, show them all, very nice. Let's open these and hide the skelet and maybe hide the base reference planes as well and maybe the sketches too, that sketch, this sketch, that sketch, this sketch. Okay. Now I have to do the fillets with the bodies. So okay. Go for a round and let's do this one first. Six. Confirm preview finish. Then another one. Confirm, preview, finish, and another one over here. Confirm, preview, finish. I did it separately because I want to move those rounds to the groups. So this round should be right there. Bottom of target group, yes. That round should go to the left plus group. Okay. And that round should go to the center plus. Okay. Now let's hide these bodies for the moment and do the fillets right here. That would be round 12 millimeter. This edge and that edge. Confirm, preview, finish. And some six millimeter fillets around one, two, three, four, five, and six. Confirm, preview, finish. So these two rounds should go to the group stiffener. Cancel this out. Group stiffener, yes, and that should be group stiffener as well. Okay, very nice. Let's show these bodies. And now I want to make a union. So let's see, should be somewhere over here. Add make a union and the target body should be the stiffener then add this one that one and the center one confirm finish cancel this out and I got one body this one the complete exterior for the moment now I need I will do the fillets with variable radius so go for round go for variable radius okay and the chain would be first one let's try this one
and add the points. So, one point, radius should be 6, another one, 6 again, then There's one right here, six, and there should be another one, six, and one in the middle right here, there it is, 20. Preview, finish. Next one. Again, variable radius, one point here, six, another one here, six, one, he one here, six, and Should be somewhere over here. There it is. Six. Again, one in the center of that edge. And this should be 20. Confirm. Preview. Finish. Let's go over there. Select one. Very radius, okay. Select one point six radius, another one six radius. Same on the other side. Six and should be somewhere here, yes. Six and in the middle twenty preview finish and the last one six 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 Six. Twenty. Preview. Finish. Cancel this out. And the exterior is done. So if you want to see more Solid Edge ST, or if you enjoyed it, I hope you enjoyed it, give it a like, leave a comment, please subscribe. Thanks for watching, see you to the next one, which will be the interior of this part. Bye bye.